in this part, as you see, Jupiter is in conjunction with South Node and with the Eclipse, of course. And Ceres also in Capricorn, very close to Saturn and Pluto as well. So there is a stellium in the sign of and according to ancient astrologers, eclipses in Earth signs injure crops and the products and fruits of the Earth. And the business world is disrupted, disturbed, uh, or depressed. And trade and agriculture suffer and troublesome financial problems arise. And they are unfortunate. The eclipses are unfortunate for the government and for statesmen, and sometimes for the monarch. And saying that, growth may follow. And according to William Lilly, an ancient English astrologer, he's saying that when an eclipse occurs in Capricorn, olive trees are invaded by grasshoppers and worms, Sing seen in the behaviors and conditions of the people who live in cities and countries ruled by sign. Sadullah El Ankaravi is an Ottoman Turkish astrologer, and he is saying that when the eclipse occurs in Capricorn, stoning decreases, grass dries, crops get scarce, bandit increase, and most people leave their countries and live far from home. So when we look at William Liddy for the first decade of Capricorn, he's also talking about some revolts and some other problems. And when we look at the opinions of Sadullah Ankarapi, since Jupiter falls in Capricorn, it brings hesitations and astonishment of the Brazilians which as we know today, and the statesman. Uh, and the false decisions in management and politics are likely non profitable trade and inactivity at custom case. He is also warning about Jupiter's South North conjunction, which brings deterioration of the financial conditions of the wealthy and powerful people and also illegal affairs are likely and the people of high class, uh, class and their benefits are diminished. And also he is warning about bad weather conditions. And lastly, he is saying that when Jupiter is combust in Capricorn, as we know, this eclipse is very close to Jupiter and Jupiter in, is combust in this eclipse. It indicates every cold weather and also the winter earthquake seen in the winter time. And according to Chris and Riskin and astrometeorologists, when in the northern declination or in areas or little, Jupiter brings higher temperatures, temperatures. In other configurations, it produces cold weather and high winds. Jupiter when configured. With Mars and Pluto, it indicates drier conditions of growth. So, as we know very well, after the eclipse, many planets will be in Capricorn and around areas ingress uh, of the Sun, Mars will be together with Jupiter and Pluto. So, Jupiter will be between Mars and Pluto. This shows us that changes in the weather will start from there in 2020, around March. And what we should be careful about our uh, products of the soil and the agriculture in general, we should be careful about roads or something like that. And about U.S. Part and the changing of the trade.